Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today, we're gonna be remaking Migos track t-shirt, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's set our tempo to 140 beats per minute. And we're gonna give ourselves a four bar cycle range loop and draw it in a four bar region. And we're gonna start off with that main sound that we hear throughout the entire track. It's sort of that build up pad sound is a way to describe it. So I'm gonna load in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And uh, we're just gonna leave that for now. We're just gonna draw in the chords. So uh, let's do that right now. So there's the chords right there. Let's go ahead and open up ES2 to get it sounding more like the sound in the original track. Now, whenever in doubt, whenever I'm trying to put together a sound, I always just go to a sine wave and see if that works first. And a lot of times it does specifically in this type of uh, music, genre of music. So we're gonna change every oscillator to a sine wave. And we get this. Next thing that we're gonna do is turn up our analog to get some detuning happening. We're gonna pull up our sine level all the way to full, but our volume's gonna get a little loud, so I'm just gonna pull this back to about one o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on unison. We get that nice full sound. We're gonna add in some chorus. We're gonna add in some drive. We're gonna pull up our resonance. We're gonna add in some glide. And finally, what we're gonna do here to get that sound sort of building up like you hear in the track, we're gonna pull up our attack to pretty much all the way up. Maybe we leave a little gap. Let's pull up at least a little bit, it's getting a little clicks there. All right, that's pretty much the sound right there. Let's go ahead and close this. We're gonna bring in EQ and filter out a lot of the highs. Let's filter out the lows as well. Next, let's go ahead and add in some overdrive. And 
finally, let's go ahead and add in some reverb. All right, next, let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And we're going to bring in Logic's ESP synthesizer, Polyphonic Synth. And we're going to go ahead and create that bass line that we hear throughout the track. So let's go ahead and close this and draw on our pattern first, and then we'll get to working out the sound. Let's go to a low octave, and we're going to draw in that pattern. All right, so there's our pattern right there. Let's go ahead and open up our ESP. And uh, we're gonna drag in some oscillators. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this one all the way down. And this one up, this one up, and this one up. And we get something like this. Let's go ahead and drop that one octave. Let's go ahead and pull up our noise generator. Let's pull up our frequency to about 11 o'clock. Let's pull up our overdrive to about one o'clock. So we're getting a little click at the beginning of this sound. So we're gonna pull up our attack. So let's go ahead and just blend the two together. All right, next, let's go ahead and start bringing in the drums. Let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And uh, we're gonna bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And we're gonna load in the drum kit that I put together for this tutorial, and that's the t-shirt drum kit. Just make this loud. And uh, we're gonna start off with the clap. So let's go ahead and put the clap in. Next, let's go ahead and draw in the open hat. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track and we're gonna go ahead and bring in the snare hits. Pretty much does the same thing here again. All right, next, let's go ahead and duplicate this track and we're going to bring in some hi hats. Here we're going to have a little stutter hit, so we're going to bring in our paintbrush tool and we're going to draw in 30 second notes. Let's change this back to our pencil tool and we're going to draw in these hits again. 
for here, we're gonna have another stutter hit, but it's gonna be 64th notes. So let's go ahead and change our quantize to 64 and paint that in. And that essentially duplicates itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and just spread these hi-hats out a little bit. We're bringing a delay, a sample delay. And we're just gonna delay one channel to spread those out. I'm also gonna go ahead and pitch these hi-hats down a little bit. They sound a little high. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track. And we're gonna go ahead and draw in our kick. So we're gonna draw in our kick over here. Let's go ahead and change this back to the pencil tool. And uh, go to C1. Let's go ahead and take off this sample delay. We don't need it. So there is our drum pattern right there. Next, let's go ahead and bring in those 808 glides. Let's go ahead and create a new soft instrument track. We're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And we're gonna be using the preset that we always use, that 808 preset. Uh, let's leave it for now. We'll adjust the sound in a moment. Let's go ahead and just draw in our pattern. So once again, we're gonna go down to a nice low octave. There's the pattern right there. You might not have heard anything if you're listening to it on your laptop speakers, uh, but if you're listening to it on monitors or headphones, you heard that bass line. Let's go ahead and manipulate this sound to get it sounding like the one in the track itself. Let's go ahead and pull up the drive. We're gonna pull up our glide so the notes glide into each other. Have some slide to it, portamento. Let's pull up the distortion a little bit. Let's pull up the attack. This is not meant to be a sort of attack quick bass line. It's supposed to be a building one. Sort of like a growl. Let's go ahead and pull our sustain down. and let our MIDI control its length. That's pretty much the line right there, nothing too fancy. Let's bring it in with everything else. Next, let's go ahead and bring in one last final layer, and we're gonna go ahead and layer up this main sound to bring in sort of this violin cello type sound to put on top of this sound that we put together at the beginning of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. We're gonna copy down this MIDI as it's gonna follow the same pattern. And uh, we're gonna go open up our browser, and I'm gonna 
look for something like from a Mellotron sound. Um, not what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and just open up Vintage Mellotron here. And uh, we're going to choose the brass. Let's see how that sounds. All right, that can work. Let's go ahead and open up the EXS24 and we're going to pull up our attack. Let's go ahead and adjust this sound further. I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe pull up the tape speed here. Pull in some reverb. All right, that sounds good. Let's hear it sounds with everything else. All right, that's pretty much good right there. Let's go ahead and just quickly arrange this track. Uh, so we pretty much have this sound over here, and then we have the clap and the open hats. And I think the bass line is there as well. Let's go ahead and bring in the hi-hats and the snare. Let's go ahead and play everything from the top. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the remake that we've just put together, T-shirt by Migos. So that is how you make t-shirt by Migos in Logic Pro X. For you Logic users out there, I am gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. As usual, I'll put that link in the description box below this video. For you non-Logic users out there, I am gonna go ahead and save all these MIDI stems for you and include all the drum samples and samples that we used in this kit. So you guys can find that play pack in the description box below this video as well. Import those samples in, import those MIDI in, and you got yourself your own remake of T-Shirt by Migos. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you did like this video, remember thumbs up, share it, and of course guys, for more good videos like this, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you all soon. Later, peace.